Hello, I'm Dr. Makru. In this short segment, I'm going to go over Botox and fillers. I see many patients in my office who are confused about when to use Botox and when fillers are a better option. The answer lies in the understanding of the mechanism of formation of various wrinkles and understanding how Botox and fillers work. Some wrinkles are the result of exaggerated facial lines of expression, meaning that the elements have always been there, but now they appear in a pronounced fashion and may be present all the time, whereas before they would show only with grimacing or intense facial expression. Other wrinkles are the result of deflation of the tissue or relaxation of the tissue or both. Wrinkles in different parts of the face will be primarily due to one mechanism or the other. Rarely, both etiologies participate in the aging look. The lines between the eyebrows are primarily due to muscle contraction. The lines in the cheek and around the mouth are due to deflation and tissue relaxation. Botox is the agent that by temporarily paralyzing the muscle eliminates the, its contraction and eliminates the resulting bulge in the skin it was creating. Fillers mainly add volume to a given area. Some fillers are permanent. The most popular ones slowly get recycled through the normal body mechanism. In this slide, the skin is pink, the fat is depicted as yellow, and the muscle are in red. In the face, the muscle are attached to the skin in order to provide for facial expression. Botox is used here to decrease the muscle bulk and to decrease its pull on the skin that is accentuating the lines. In this next slide, fillers are depicted in green and they are used to simply fill up the wrinkle. In this other slide, the skin is deflated and is hanging. The filler will plump up the skin and help it move upward. If you'd like more information, about Botox and filler, please contact my office at 847-297-8001 or visit my website enhanceform.com.